Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. Today we are going to do update nine in my Pan That Palette series. I am panning my Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette for a multitude of reasons. One, the palette's just old. Two, I love this palette. Three, I no longer support ABH any longer, so I kind of just want to see all of her products out of my collection. So if you have not watched any other video in the series, I am going to link my playlist in the cards and down in the description box below because there's a lot of changes in this palette from how it looked and when I first got it versus when I started panning it versus now when we're going to update today. So I'm going to not dilly dally around the bush, but I do want to just mention that Amber F is the original creator for Pan That Palette. I'm going to have her channel linked down below along with her current Pan That Palette playlist. I'm going to try to link her Pan That Palette playlist, whichever one it is. Um, it'll be down in the description box below to kind of preface or refresh you guys um, back in 2020. When I first started panning this palette back in October 2020, I decided that I was going to do quarterly updates or three month updates. Um, then that I did all throughout 2021. And then this year, 2022, I decided that I no longer want to do quarter updates because it is not conducive of actually panning this palette. So I wanted to do monthly updates and that's I've skyrocketed my success in panning this so far. Um, so I'll, I'll have the slideshow go with some light music over it. what my subculture is looking like now so there's no new pans on or I guess everything has pans so there will never ever be new pan however there is no new um empties I guess is what I'm trying to say this month but I did make a really good progress in some in the shades that are left in here I only have five shades left I made good progress I had a very soft goal for myself we blew that out of the water for the most part. So let me start with just mentioning my goal for this palette this past month was only to use each shade five times and I definitely surpassed the goal in many of the shades except for one. So I hit my five usage in everything, every single one. The only one that I only used five times was Edge right here. Um, everything else I used over five times. New Wave and Destiny, so the orange and the green, I used six times. Um, All Star I used 7, Mercury I used 22. I used Mercury in my brow, so the usage is always going to be a lot more than my other shades in this. My usage for this is pretty even throughout the whole palette, except for Mercury. I just use it the most because I do my brows and I use Mercury in it. So I'm going to go shade by shade and I'll just talk about some of the things that I'm excited about, some of the things that I think that I can accomplish for next time. So starting with the shade Destiny, I didn't use it a whole lot. As I mentioned, I use it six times, which is more than I really thought I was going to. Again, I only had the goal to reach for everything five times. And I can definitely see in the top portion where like the bubbles, so it looks kind of like a figure eight or like a peanut or something like that. So at the very top portion um, over on this side, like if you if over towards this, towards the right of the pan, I definitely see the pan expanding into what the shadow is remaining. Um, I have increased the size of side pan that is showing down in there, but I there's no real progress um, to really mention. I'm curious, what do you guys think would be more exciting? Do you want to see me hit like corner pan over here, or do you want me to see if I can hit side pan down below over here? I truly would love to know which you would want me to aim for. My only concern with hitting um, bottom side pan is that now I'll have two sections of shadow and it might crumble easier. But let me know. I think it would be fun, more fun to witness um, 
the pan on the bottom than the corner, but that's just me personally. Then moving over to All Star. I was actually very surprised at how many times I used All Star. Like today, I do have All Star in my look. I've really been gravitating towards using All Star in um, a very particular look um, that I'll share at the end. But I used All Star seven times and I used it predominantly as an outer corner shade. So I would just buff it and then like put whatever other crease shades, whether that was some shades from this palette or any other palette that I have in my collection. I would just buff All Star in the outer corner and then do whatever else. Um, really enjoyed that. Mercury, I, I can tell a big change in it. We went from kind of having like a C-shaped curve to it and now it's almost just like a straight line of like where the shadow is and where the pan is. So I'm going to continue to work on Mercury. Um, again, I wear it every single day and as I get a little bit more color as the sun starts shining a little bit more, I can wear this as a contour shade and I think I can make some definite huge progress in it. So I'm excited to do that and see how much more I can kind of finish up in Mercury. I don't think, I think Mercury is going to be the next shade that I'm completely done with. Um, it's not to say that I'm not going to try to finish any of the other shades that I'm using all over my eyes or like in my eye looks and like as blushes and everything. But I think Mercury is just because I use it every time I do my makeup or at least 98% of the time when I do my makeup. New Wave, I should have reached for more. Um, these bottom two, I definitely should have reached for them just more than I was. But I was really contingent on what I had in my pan, those eyeshadows. And I had a lot of cool tones. So a lot of things didn't actually pair well with this that are were in my pan, those eyeshadows. But as we rolled some new things in, if you haven't seen my most recent update for my pan, those eyeshadows, I will link that in the cards too. Um, as we just roll items in and out of that project, it kind of depends on what shade I'm going to focus on. But New Wave, I've definitely reached for that bottom left corner and I'm trying to get the bottom left corner showing. So I'm trying to get that whole bottom section of the pan emptied. I definitely could do it by next month if I really step up my usage and focus on it. Again, I only used it six times, so it wasn't a whole lot. But I do have a look that I've been wearing a lot to work because it's super, super easy. I've like done it like three or four times now and I kind of can just like knock it out in like a very short amount of time especially when I'm getting up at like three in the morning like I need something that I can just throw on and like get out the door you know I do wear edge when I do that look too um I didn't make as much progress in edge but I did make progress in edge the bottom right side of the pan is expanding you can definitely see like it bulbing out more towards that right corner um, I definitely think that I can knock out the right most corner or the right bottom corner in edge by the next update, especially again, I'll keep saying it as long as I'm using those two shades in a look, I typically use new wave edge and all star kind of all in one look together. Um, so I don't think that I think that I can make good progress with it is what I'm trying to say. So I think for next month, the goals that I want to set with this palette, I want to clear out this bottom corner of New Wave. I also want to clear out this bottom corner of Edge. And I think that's really all that I'm going to truly be able to accomplish like visually through the next month. I'm definitely going to continue to reach for these um, top shades. I will set the goal that I want to reach for each shade. Maybe even just let's bump it up one use every single month. I want to reach for every single shade in this palette six times. Um, I think that I can do that. Since we reached for most shades six times anyway, except for edge, um, I definitely think that I can reach for every single shade six times. Um, hi, Becky. So I don't think that's going to be a problem, but that is it for my pan that palette update. I think that since we have such, oh, let me just share the look that I've been doing. So I am doing a very simple eye look when I go to the office, when I wake up super, super early. And I just kind of wanted to share the eye look that I've really been focusing on in this palette the past couple weeks. And it's something super simple. It utilizes three of the shades, technically four if you count the brow shade. Um, so it uses the majority of the palette that's left. And I've really been enjoying like the look of this or the looks that I've been doing. And typically I usually go in with 
edge in my transition. I blow it out as much as humanly possible. I pick up a very small amount of it and really buff that all over the transition area. Then I go in with new wave and I take that and I tuck that a little lower in the crease, um, buffing that into edge, like really, really aggressively buffing that into edge. And then I'm taking either a like some form of lid shade that it really doesn't matter what the shade is. Either I will use a lid shade and top it with the Natasha Denona duochrome topper, or I will take like the red P Louise base and I'll top that with the topper, or I'll just put a glitter primer on and then put that duochrome shadow on. And I've really been enjoying how those have looked because it kind of gives me the same effect that Electric from the palette did. And Electric was long gone out of this palette. It was not even like Electric and Cube were two shades that were gone before I even started panning the palette as my pan that palette. So I like truly have missed that kind of shade. And I think Electric really did lend itself well with all of the shades in this palette. So I'm super happy and thankful that I am using my Natasha Denona Duochrome Topper in my deck of panning project. And I have such a large, I guess, high number of uses till that like leaves that project. But even so, I think if that does leave that project, I might want to just either have a, a single shadow like companion for this or like some topper shadows to companion with this because I desperately think that this palette, since it has all matte shadows now, it desperately needs some a companion. Like this is not a standalone palette. Back when it had the three shimmers in it, it definitely leaned itself more towards a standalone palette, but even then, there, the matte to shimmer ratio was so off. That is it for my Pan Matte Palette Update 9. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope if you are panning a palette or panning some eyeshadows or panning something, I hope it is truly going well for you. I hope you are having a successful project. Let me know down below any color combinations that you have or shades that you like to pair with any of the shades that I have left. I would really love to know how you get more use out of Destiny and All Star and New Wave, um, all of the shades. Um, I really would love to know how you guys think that I could pair them in different ways that would be maybe more exciting for me, maybe different placement methods. I really truly would love to know what you guys think, um, but I hope you are having a great day. I hope you guys are staying healthy, sane, and safe, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!